Welcome! In front of me I have MAs with Band 5 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with the Android phone. First, uh, you will need to turn on the smart band and you can do it by plugging, plugging it into charger. Once you plug it into charger, it's gonna uh, get power and it's gonna turn on automatically. After you turn on the smart band, you should see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now find the language you like to use on your smart band, tap on it to select it, and then tap on the arrow to continue. Now we need to go to our phone, uh, tap or rather open the uh, Google Play Store on our phone. In the Play Store, tap on search, type in uh, Zep, and tap on search button. You should see this page, Zep application developed by Huami. Um, let's tap on the install button to install the application. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on open button to open it. In the application, you will need to log in into an account. You can also create a new account if you want to by tapping on create an account now. And also you have option to log in with third party accounts like Google, Facebook, Xiaomi and stuff like that. Okay, I'm just gonna tap right here, enter the email address and password. So give me a couple of seconds. And once you're done entering the credentials, you can tap on sign in. Oh, give me a second, something is wrong. Okay, like this, let's wait. And after you log in, uh, you might get some prompts about the permissions. As you can see for now, I didn't get any, but if you get some prompts about permissions like location and stuff like that, it's recommended to allow the location permission, but you can also deny it. And there, there might be also permissions about um, phone and contacts, and also you can deny them or allow them if you want. But as you can see, I didn't get any pop-up, so let's continue. Basically, after you log in and you're done with the permissions, if you get any pop prompts about them, you, you should see the home page in the application. Now, tap on the profile icon, and here you have this big add device button. Tap on it, select the band, tap on got it, and now we got the permission about the location. So you can allow it or deny it. It's recommended to allow it, but you can also deny it if you want. I'm gonna tap on while using the app. And as you can see, the app redirected us to location permission right here, because for some reason the app is trying to uh, force us to use the location for, uh, allow the permission for the location for all the time. So it can use it while it's not, uh, while it's running in the background. I'm just gonna be persistent, I'm gonna tap back to go back and the app will start searching for the nearby devices, even though I didn't allow the permission for all the time. And after a second or two, it should detect our smart band, as you can see. Let's confirm the pairing by tapping on the check mark on the smart band. And after a while, you should see this page, the device page for your Amazfit Band 5. This means that the devices are paired and your band is ready to use, as you can see. And that's how you pair this smart band with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.